Hey guys, D Smooth here, and let's go! Let's go! The Doctor versus Rick Sanchez. I knew this would happen eventually. We all knew this would happen eventually. They're gonna do it. The Doctor versus Rick Sanchez. This is gonna be awesome. And it's also gonna be a stop because the Doctor wins, hands down. <coughs> now, I know you Rick Sanchez fans are gonna play, but wait a minute, Rick Sanchez, he's so crazy. He has so many gadgets, he can travel all throughout the multiverse and stuff. Yeah, the Doctor can do all that same stuff too. Okay, let, let's let's start from the beginning. Okay, there's pros and cons on both sides. Let's talk about the the pros on both sides. Both these characters are super genius. Both of them can travel throughout space and time. Both of them are skilled fighters. Both of them has fought dimensional gods. Both of them has outsmarted alien species. Both of them has dealt with artificial intelligence. Both of them has fought parallel versions of themselves. Both of them has done this. But here's the key difference. There's a major, major skill gap in this fight on the Doctor's end. <coughs> the Doctor is thousands of years older than Rick Sanchez. He also grew up in a society with better tech than, Sa than Rick. So the Doctor likely has more knowledge of better tech than Rick Sanchez is. Now, yes, Rick has more gadgets overall, but you got to take into account quality over quantity. Rick, uh, I'll give Rick an advantage here. Rick, has, Rick is way better of an inventor. He's got more gadgets than Rick. He's got way more reality warping than Rick. In fact, Rick actually forgets how many gadgets he has. He has so many of them. But here's the thing. you got to take into account quality over quantity. The Doctor has defeated Eldridge gods. He's outsmarted alien races. He's defeated AI. He's done so much crazy stuff with just the sonic screwdriver, with just the memory paper, whatever it's called. With He's done so much stuff with just the TARDIS alone. You gotta take into account quality over quantity. The Doctor can do all the same stuff as Rick, but with less tech. And relying more on just hands-on. The Doctor is way more hands-on than Rick Sanchez is. Which is a skill factor. So, the Doctor is significantly more skilled, significantly more experienced. And here's a major, major con on Rick's end. Rick Sanchez is mentally unstable. Rick Sanchez has tried to kill himself numerous times. Rick Sanchez has shown to be reckless numerous times. Which the doctor has not. The doctor, he's had his, he's had his down bad times, but he's nowhere near as mentally unstable as Rick Sanchez. So, okay, so Rick is always mentally nerfed. So Rick is mentally unstable, which is a hindrance on his end. Now, Rick would be more aggressive overall. Rick would be way more aggressive, but you know, the doctors dealt with that type of stuff before, so. So the Doctor overall, he's more experienced, he's more skilled, and Rick Sanchez, he's more versatile, but mentally unstable. That's, that, if you want to measure the pros and cons, the Doctor's more experienced, he's older, and Rick is more versatile, but mentally unstable, which is a hindrance on his end. Got to take into account, the doc, the 11th Doctor was able to outsmart that AI thing that was taking over his mind in that one episode, this artificial AI. The Doctor has dealt with time stop enemies before. The Doctor has dealt with alien species before. The Doctor's done pretty much everything that Rick's done. The Doctor's done that same stuff. You can look up and find the feet of the Doctor doing the same thing. He, maybe he didn't do it exactly like Rick did it, but he did it. The Doctor's more hands-off. So, the Doctor has a significant advance in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Doctor's also shown to be a master of numerous martial arts. Well, we've never seen that from Rick. Whenever Rick has to fight someone, he just uses the gadgets. Well, the Doctor, he will bust out some martial arts moves. So, if the fight goes hand-to-hand, -hand, which is likely that it will, the Doctor will have an advantage in that regard. Like, as an inventor, Rick is a better inventor 
than the Doctor, but that's really his only main advantage. The Doctor can do all the same stuff as Rick, he's more mentally stable than Rick, and he's more skilled and experienced than Rick. Rick's only advantage is his arsenal of gadgets, which the Doctor can take out with just the Doctor can take out half his stuff with just a sonic suit driver alone. The Doctor also has numerous uh, regenerations, which will be difficult for Rick to deal with. I mean, he, I imagine Rick will, will eventually find a way around it, but it's going to take him a while. Well, Rick is just kind of one entity, unless you're dealing with one of his clones, which the Doctor has a crap ton of clones, too. The Doctor has all kinds of crazy gadgets. The Doctor has, I mean, he doesn't have as many gadgets as Rick, but the Doctor has plenty Gosh, he's got that time warp thing he can put on his wrist. He's got that that uh, that clone body thing that he can wear inside of, like like that machine body he can wear inside of. He's got an arsenal of clones that he can deal with. The Doctor has outsmarted. The Doctor has dealt with super intelligent beings just like Rick. Anyway, the in fact here's. The Doctor has managed to perform well on his own without all the crazy gadgets, while Rick Sanchez, without his gadgets, is helpless. Whenever Rick loses his gadgets, he's completely helpless. So, on the cons on Rick's end, Rick has too many cons in this fight. He's mentally unstable, he relies too much on his gadgets, and that's about it. While the Doctor... He's more experienced, he's more skilled, he's more mentally stable, and he's good with or without his gadgets. He's managed to do just as much crazy stuff without his gadgets as with them. So, the Doctor comes in this fight with just... He has... The Doctor has more win cons. The Doctor just has more win cons. We see the Doctor get lost and stranded without the TARDIS, and he always survives. Meanwhile, Rick, without his gadgets, is nothing. Rick without his gadgets is nothing. He literally just gets beat up. The Doctor gets stranded without his gadgets all the time and just does fine. So, the, the Doctor wins. The Doctor has too many win cons in this fight. Tell me what you guys think below. But now, like, subscribe. That's my reaction to this. The Doctor's gonna win, baby. The Doctor's gonna win, baby.